Jerry of the Circus. for Jerry of the Circus. Hey, Jojo. Uh, just a minute, folks. Hive down there. Mr. Allen wants to talk. Hey, hey, give the boss a chance. Oh, thank you, boys. All right, now, if you'll all be quiet for a few minutes, uh, I'm afraid I've got some bad news for you. Bad news? No, no, wait, wait, wait until I'm through, and then you can all talk it over. I'm sorry, I have to tell you that Jim Bennett has been robbed of the payroll money. Oh, no. Well, what about our pay? Yeah, what about our yeah, well, Just a minute, just a minute. Keep cool. It'll all be paid every cent you've got coming to you. Oh, but not today. Huh? Now, listen, folks. Now, wait a minute. Listen. We've always worked together on things, and I'm sure none of you will fail me now. I'm going to have to make some investigations, naturally. Oh, meantime, meantime, I'll have some more money sent over, and you'll all get your pay tomorrow. I'm sorry to be a day late, but I'm sure you'll all bear with me. Sure, boss. Yeah, it's okay with me, Governor. Uh, all right, folks, that's all. Go on with your lunch now. So long, folks. Oh, hello there, Patsy. Hello, Mr. Randall. How's the new act coming along? Think it'll be ready to put on the show pretty soon? Oh, I hope so, Mr. Randall. Oh, how awful about the robbery. Was, was Jim hurt? <laughs> Isn't that like a woman? I always got to worry about someone else. Well, yeah, not seriously, Patsy. Just a bump on the head. Oh, what a shame. Did you see anybody, Randall? I'm afraid I'll have to keep his remarks confidential for the present, Jason. Uh, by the way, uh, drop by my office after you've had your lunch. There's something I'd like to discuss with you. Certainly. And if there's anything I can do about this payroll business, you can count on me. Mm, well, we'll see. Goodbye, Patsy. Bye, Mr. Randall. Uh, just a minute, Mr. Randall. Yes, Jason? I'm not hungry now, and if you don't mind, I'll run along with you now. Fine. Glad to have you. Gee, this is terrible. Yes, I'm afraid it is, Jason. What about Bennett? Well, I, uh, I didn't want to upset Patsy, but he was pretty badly knocked about. Has he seen a doctor yet? Is he there now? Jerry happened to be on the spot when I discovered the thing, and he's gone with him. Good. What's in your mind, Mr. Randall? I, uh, I just wanted you to identify something for me. Here, here's my office. Uh, step right in, will you? Identify? What do you mean? Well, here it is. You recognize this? Uh, sure. Well, that's the gun I reported lost. That's mine, all right. I thought so, but I wasn't quite sure of the number. No, oh, don't touch it. I'm keeping it wrapped in this handkerchief in case there might be fingerprints on it. Well, look, part of the handle's been knocked off. Yes, yes, I know. Was it like that when you last saw it? No, sir. That's happened since I last used it. You don't say. Good heavens. You don't mean... You certainly can't think I've had anything to do with this business. I don't want to think so, Jason. But, uh... Well, where were you from 11.30 to 12.30 this noon? Well, I... I guess I was taking a walk before lunch. Mm, that's fine. Who were you with? Well, I wasn't with anybody. Well... Certainly someone saw you someplace. What part of town were you in? Gee, Mr. Randall, I went out the other way, into the country. I went right along the railroad tracks, and when that noon train passed me, I headed back here for lunch. Mm. You mean you haven't anyone to vouch for having seen you? Well, I'm afraid I haven't. Well, yeah. pretty tough, Jason. Golly, Mr. Randall, you don't think that I'm the kind of to pull a stick up? I don't want to think so. Is there anything I can do to clear myself? Bring in the real culprit. And if you don't think I'll try that, you're crazy. But uh, don't go off this lot. I'm sorry, but... I'll have to keep you under surveillance until this thing is settled. Well, that's fair enough. Got any tips to give me? I'm afraid not, Jason. After all, you're a suspect until we can prove someone else had this gun since you claim to have lost it. Okay. I'll prove I'm innocent if it's the last thing I do. Mr. Randall! Huh? Mr. Randall! 
Oh, hello, Jason. Hi, Jerry. What's on your mind? Gee, Mr. Randall, the doc says Mr. Bennett's got to stay in bed. No. Jerry, are you sure? Yep. Says maybe he's got a, a concussion or something, and, and Bennett says he won't stay in bed. He's going along with the show, and he's raving something terrible and calling for you. And Well, so I came as quick as I could. Uh, well, I'll get down there right away. Oh, uh, by the way, Jason, I... I wouldn't repeat our little conversation. No, of course not. I'll talk to Barney, and he'll see that everything is going along as I want it. I understand. He's a good policeman. Yeah, that's right. Well, I'll get down to Jim. Sorry, I'll have to lock this door now, so you better come on out, you two. Okay. Bye, Mr. Randall. Well, so long. Goodbye. Bye. Gee, isn't this exciting? A real hold-up and everything. Yeah, a little too exciting. You, you won't be mad if I ask you something. Of course not. Well, Mr. Bennett and Mr. Randall, well, they... Yes, Jerry? Well, they seem to think that gun... Belonged to me? Yeah. How'd you know? Because it does belong to me. No. Oh, it can't, Jason. I'm sorry. I, I'm afraid it does. Gee, I... Oh, but don't worry, Jerry. I didn't pull that hold up. Golly, I... Someone stole that revolver from me before you even joined this circus. Yeah, m Mr. Randall said something about it, but they... Well... They said it all might be a plant? What's a plant? Oh, just a plan. To pretend I'd lost it so when something like this turned up, I wouldn't be to blame. Carly, you know everything, don't you? I sure wish I did. But for one thing, I've got a good suspicion. I've got to see Bumps. Maybe he can help me. He's pretty good at thinking things out, isn't he? Yeah, he is. Well, here's the wagon. Bumps! Say, Bumps! Oh, hello there. Well, hello, Jason. Any news? Plenty. Is Lorenz around? Uh, no. Why? No, Decker? No, as a matter of fact, they went into town today. They ought to be getting back here soon, though. It's time to be getting to work. Now, listen, Bumps. I'm not trying to put an idea in your head, but you dress in the, in the same wagon, and I just wondered if you'd ever noticed either of them with a gun. Mm, can't say as they have. Anyhow, they aren't allowed to have guns. Uh, why? Well, I... You don't happen to know where they were around noon today. They were at lunch, you know. Sure we know, don't we, Bumps? They went into town. We saw them go. Uh, yeah, that was just about 11 or maybe a little after. Well, it looks like they're in the clear then, doesn't it? Oh, you mean about the robbery? Yeah. You see, my gun was found on the floor. Uh, yours? Yeah, and it just happened that I was out in the country taking a walk all alone, and I haven't anyone to prove where I was just at that time. Oh, Jason, that's bad. Yeah, it's tough. Well, but I'll manage somehow. Well, guess I better get ready for the act. I go on pretty soon. Uh, don't let it get you down, Jason. There's lots of things can happen. I'm finding that out. So long, folks. Bye, Jason. So long. Ah, oh, gee, Bumps, we just got to clear Jason. Mm, yeah. Well, son, looks as if we need a good detective around here. What with all that alfalfa disappearing and now the bankroll. Gee, these robbers aren't afraid of anything. They go off with truckloads of things at night and money in broad daylight and... And right in front of everybody. Oh, here's your chance to do a little super sleuthing, Jerry. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, but I gotta get in and finish dressing. Yeah, those knife throwers better be getting here pretty soon. That looks like Decker now. Mm, where? Down near the sideshows. See? With the beard. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, good. Uh, that's him, all right. Well, I'll be seeing you soon. So long, Bumps. Rags. <laughs> now listen, Rags. You and me are gonna be detectives. <laughs> but we mustn't let anybody know it. Just Bumps, and he won't tell. <laughs> Golly, you're wonderful, Rags. The way you pick things up. I think you're a knockout. Now, don't wag your tail so hard. It might fly off. Honest, it's a wonder it doesn't swing you instead of you swinging it. Hello, Jerry. Uh, <laughs> and Mr. Rags. Hi, Decker. What's this, a uh, conference? It sure is. Rags and me, well, we got big, big business. Oh, you have. Uh, what's it all about? Well, I, I guess we can't tell you it's official business, you know, and kind of private. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. I didn't mean to be rude. Gee, I, I didn't mean it that way, Mr. Decker. I, I was just honest. <laughs> I know, I know. I guess I can take a hint. Oh, gee, I forgot. I've got to get these knives and go over and meet Lorenz. Isn't Lorenz going to make up? Oh, uh, he's already made up. When we got back from town, we stopped by our compartment on the train, and he fixed up there a little. He was kind of tired, Just so... from going into town? Oh, well... Uh... Oh, guess I better get those knives. Well, hi, Decker. Uh, hi, Bumps. Uh, I gotta hurry. Lorenz is waiting for these knives. Uh, he kind of keeps you hopping, doesn't he? Well, I work for him. He's boss. Mm -hmm. Well, there are all kinds of bosses, you know. Well, I got the knives. Guess I better beat it. Wait, 
Why, Jerry, I, I thought you'd gone to bed. Well, I did, but, but I can't sleep. Well, what's the matter? I, I just can't get things out of my mind. What kind of things? Oh, the money and the alfalfa no, and... No, no, listen, Jerry. Even detectives have to sleep. I know, but listen, Bumps. I won't disturb anyone. Lorenz and Decker were asleep. They didn't even hear sleep. Can't I just go out on the back platform and sit for a while with rags? Yeah, it's kind of late now. I, I just get up to get a drink of water. Everyone on the train's asleep. I know, but, but we'll be quiet. Mm, well, okay, son, but mind you don't stay too long. And there'll be another big day tomorrow, you know. Lots of buckets to carry, a robbery or no robbery. I know. Thanks, Bumps. We'll be good, won't we, Rags? <laughs> Shh, don't answer me now. Just let me talk. <laughs> well, that's certainly taken an unfair advantage. <laughs> good night, Sam. Night, Bumps. Gee, isn't it swell out here? Golly, I love to be out in the middle of the night. You do, too? Well, I don't blame you. Golly, it's most morning, though, now. Better, Pup. What? Where? I don't see anything. Shh, not so loud. Let me look around. Oh, so that's it. Certainly does look funny. Yeah, right over there by the horse tent, too. Yeah, can you see those shadows? Shh. Something sure enough moving. Golly, what do you think we'd better do, huh? Okay, we'll call someone. I know. Let's get Jason. Shh, not so loud. After all, he's in a bad spot. And if he can catch the real burglars, I think he should, don't you? Stop it, not so loud. Come on now, quiet. Let's see, I, I think Jason's compartment is right near this end. Yeah, I guess this is it. Yeah, mm, yeah. Who is it? It's me. Who's me? It's me, Jerry. What do you want in the middle of the night? Come on in. Gee, Jason, something's going on over in the circus lot. What on earth are you talking about? Honest, I'm not kidding. Right around the horse tent. What? Rags and me. We couldn't sleep, so we went out on the platform. All of a sudden, Rags started to growl, and there, sure enough, I could see something moving around the horse tent. Well, maybe you've discovered something. Come on, we'll sneak out of here and find out what's what. Let's see. My flashlight and my, my gun. Okay, Jerry, come on. <laughs> 